Hello, this is uh, Joseph Drust. So I just want to do a quick demonstration of the actual Z Startup master plugin. And I'm just going to go through the process of how it works and kind of how to use it inside of uh, ZBrush here. So I have the plugin installed and I just have ZBrush opened up. So if I navigate up here to the Z plugin tab, you should now have a tab here that's labeled Z Startup Master. And if you just open that up, you'll have your tab here with a bunch of different options. You can just kind of turn on by clicking and then you'll have two buttons down below. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to dock this over to the side here by coming to the top and just clicking on that. And now I just have it over here. So it's just open on my screen. So the Z Startup Master plugin will allow you to come through and store different values uh, on your actual scene. And then these will automatically load on ZBrush Start. So let's say as an example, I always start out inside a ZBrush with say a quick cube. So I just have a Polymesh 3D star here. I'm gonna go to initialize, turn that into a cube, change my material to say matte cap gray. And I have perspective and polyframes on. And I end up with something like this. So every time I start ZBrush, I do the same process over and over again. And then I also select the Z modeler brush. So we can actually come through now and store this entire setup, and this will automatically pop up right when ZBrush starts. So if I just come up here and select Store Current Tool, so when you actually activate Store Current Tool, it's going to store this out as a project file. So it's going to automatically store the MacCap you have selected and automatically have your file set into edit mode. So if you can unclick any of these guys, and you'll see it'll disable the actual store current tool. But if you activate store current tool, it's going to automatically turn on store matcap and start in edit mode. So I'm going to store the tool with the matcap gray selected and I'm in edit mode. Then I'm also going to store the current brush, which is going to store this Z modeler brush over here. And then I'm going to force light box to uh, automatically close on start. So after you have these settings selected, you just come here and you just click Install Custom Startup. And you're going to get this little auto note that will pop up, just telling you that it's been installed and the changes will take place on next ZBrush Restart. So now I can close ZBrush. And now I'm just going to restart quick. And you'll notice on ZBrush Start Now that it's going to automatically load that scene in, automatically select that Z modeler brush, select matte cap gray, and now I can just come in and start modeling right in ZBrush. So I can also do this for, say, anything else. It doesn't just have to be a simple cube. So say I want to always start out with the, say, demo head here. So I'm going to select the demo head. And then I'm going to turn polyframes off on him, turn off the floor, maybe change the material to, say, basic material. And then let's say I always want clay buildup, and then I want to make sure I have that back face mask turned on, right? So come back to my plugin tab here. I'm going to store current tool, store current brush, which is that clay buildup brush, turn on that back face mask, and then I'm also going to force the light box to close. And I'm just going to install that custom startup. So now if I restart ZBrush now, it's going to launch. And now I'll have the scene right back where I was. I'll have that clay buildup brush selected. If I come back to my brush menu here and go to auto masking, you'll see that back face mask is turned on. And I can just come in and start sculpting like so. Now if you want to uninstall the actual plugin, just come back up here to that Z plugin menu, go to the Z Startup Master, and simply click Uninstall Startup. And this will uninstall all the scripts and the stored files. And now if I close this and restart ZBrush one more time, you'll see that now ZBrush is starting up as it does normally. So the red wax material selected, light box opened up, and I have no tool loaded in my scene. So I hope you find this uh, plugin useful. Once again, this is an unofficial plugin, so it may contain bugs. Uh, so if you find any, just post them on the thread in Zebra Central and I'll try to take care of them. Happy ZBrushing!